Question 5A of the 2019 Higher Physics SQ exam from Section 2. A person is standing at the side of a road. A car travels along the road towards the person at a constant speed of 12 metres per second. The car emits a sound of frequency 510 Hz. The person observes that the frequency of the sound heard changes as the car passes by. And for one mark, you're asked to state the name of the effect. And when we state the name of the effect, we just name it, don't explain it. It is, of course, the famous Doppler effect. Make sure we have it spelt correctly. The Doppler effect. I should got your one mark. Question 5A, part 2. Calculate the frequency of the sound heard by the person as the car approaches. The speed of sound in air is 340 metres per second. So we go to our data book and we find our Doppler effect formula. There it is there. F0 equals Fs into the bracket V divided by V plus or minus Vs. And we should know what all these symbols mean. We know that F0 is the observed frequency, the frequency the person hears. We know that Fs has got to be the frequency of the sound which is produced by the source, that's the horn, when it's not moving. We know the Vs represent the speed of sound, which we're told is 340 metres per second. And this part here, Vs, that's called that's the speed of the source, that's the speed in which the horn is coming towards the person. So our next problem in the stage is which denominator we're we going to use. We're going to use V plus Vs or V minus Vs. And I tend to remember it like this. If the car's approaching you, the distance is getting less. We can symbolise that by a minus sign. The distance has been subtracted. If the car is moving away from you, you're going to use the add sign because think about it, the distance is moving away. It's getting added. The distance is adding as the car moves away. Now, in question 5a part 2, we're told that the car is moving towards the person. So we're going to use this situation here, which will means we'll use the minus in the denominator. So our equation will be F0 equals Fs brackets V divided by V and it'll be the minus Vs since the car is moving towards us. Now we can put in the numbers to calculate the frequency which the person standing on the pavement observes. So F0, as we found out, is equal to Fs, V divided by V minus Vs. So F0 is going to equal to the frequency of the horn, which we're told was 510 hertz to begin with. So 510 hertz multiplied by V, the speed of sound, which we're told is 340, divided by 340 and it's take away 12 because 12 meters per second is the speed of which the car is moving. So if we do that on our calculator we end up with the frequency observed is going to be greater this time and it's going to give us an answer of 529 hertz so 529 hertz which is more higher pitched than the original frequency. We can put that into significant figures. It's equal to 530 hertz, and that's written as two significant figures. Question 5b. Here we have an application of the Doppler effect in the realms of ultrasound, how we can measure the flow of the red blood cells in a blood vessel. That's an amazing technique, all done by the application of physics. There's a bit of reading involved in it, so you have to do a wee bit of reading to see what's going on. It seems to be an equation down here which I've not seen before, but they'll ask you this in the higher. You've got the math skill to rearrange this equation or work it out. It's just numbers. So let's have a go at it then. The effect is used to determine the speed of red blood cells through blood vessels. Just showing a the diagram there. You can see that probe is at an angle to the direction of flow. Ultrasound waves are transmitted by a probe. The frequency of the ultrasound waves changes as they deflect from the blood cells. And the probe detects the reflected waves. Now here comes the equation part. The velocity of the red blood cells can be determined using the following relationship. And you're given that big equation there. But luckily enough, you're told what all these things mean. You're told that delta F is a change in frequency. F is a transmitted frequency. V sub RBC is the velocity of the red blood cells. That's what you're after. 
V is the velocity of the ultrasound, theta is the angle between the direction of the waves and the direction of the blood flow. Now before you start, I would put in all the data as best I can. Delta F is a change in frequency, so this little paragraph up here, we're told that the change in frequency is going to be 286 hertz. So I'd put that in there, 286 hertz for my reference. F is the transmitted frequency, that is 3.70 megahertz, and change it into the number times 10 to the power 6 hertz, that's what I a megahertz is. VRBC is what we are after. V is the velocity of the ultrasound, which tells us up here is 1540 meters per second. So we don't have to worry about changing those units. And theta is the angle between the direction of the waves and the direction of the blood flow. In this case, it's going to be 60 degrees. So I've got all my numerical data there. Now I need to do is rearrange this equation to get what it means in terms of VRBC. Okay, our equation is delta F equal to 2 times the frequency V sub RBC, that's what we're looking for, times cos of theta. I'm going to divide now all by V, the speed of sound. So in order to rearrange that, remember, I'm looking for this character here, VRBC. That's what I've been trying to find. I've been told to calculate the velocity of the blood cells, VRBC. So to do that, I have to rearrange. And to give the V in the bottom, I multiply across by the V. So delta F times V equals 2 times the frequency, VRBC and cos theta. Remember, I'm still looking for this character here. That's the character I'm looking for. So we can change over by doing the following. We can say divide each side by 2f cos theta. And I'm going to have delta f times v divided by 2f cos theta is going to give me vrbc. I've now finally rearranged everything, and now all I've got to do is usually put in the numbers, which I have taken a note of up here. So, let's take a, a note of the numbers then. We have uh, to find VRBC. We're going to have to do delta F, which was 286, multiplied by V, which was 1540. Put that in a little bracket. Divide that by... 2 times the frequency of the ultrasound, that's 3 times 10, 3.70 times 10 to the power 6, multiplied by cos of the angle, and it's going to be cos of 60 degrees. And I'll put that in a little bracket as well. So that's me got all my numbers in, I've taken my time, and all I've got to do now is just simply go through with my calculator and work that out, and I end up with an answer to two significant figures of 0.12 meters per second. That will be the speed of the red blood cells in the blood vessel.